Howdy folks, uh, going to do a quick screencast on how to upgrade PHP My Admin in WAMP. Uh, I have this post on my site, uh, which a good chunk of you are probably looking at while watching this video. Um, the post is about how to upgrade PHP My Admin in WAMP. I have just uh, moved to Windows 10 uh, on a clean install. Uh, so I'm resetting up WAMP, and uh, one of the things I'm going to need to do is upgrade PHP My Admin. Uh, if I go to uh, local PHP My Admin, there we go. Uh, I can see this little message down here. Uh, a newer version of PHP My Admin is available, and you should consider upgrading. The newest version is blah 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 blah. Okay. Um, let's go look for it. <clears throat> Now, this says that the latest version is 4.5.2. Um, that's great. But the first thing I want to caution you is you got to be mindful of you, the version of PHP that you're running. In this case, um, I am running uh, the version of WAMP that I installed shipped with version 5.5.12, excuse me, of uh, PHP. The version that I'm running though, I installed 5.4.45 because I run a lot of, uh, uh, do a lot of Magento development on Magento 1, uh, 1 1.x uh, and it works best on PHP 5.4. So I am running PHP 5.4, the point being that I need a PHP My Admin that is compatible with PHP 5.4 uh, and I believe that is, the most recent version is 4.4.15.1. Uh, and I've already gone ahead and downloaded this because like I said, I'm upgrading from uh, Windows 7 to Windows 10. Uh, so I have it all prepped. Uh, but I just downloaded the English version of this and that's what we're gonna install right now. So uh, with all that covered, let's go and do the upgrade. Apps. PHP my admin. So I'm in my local WAMP directory. This is the thumb, uh, thumb drive that I have uh, all my programs and software that I need to install in Windows 10 on. Um, we can see PHP 4.1.14. That's what uh, shipped with WAMP. And we're gonna upgrade to a different version. So the first thing I'll do is create a directory for the new version. All right, I suppose I could have just copied this, but what the heck. Uh, I have a configuration file here that needs to go in there. But first, before I do that, let's go check out my download. Uh, PHP My Admin 4.4.15, English version. It's strange, where's 7-zip? Uh, like I said, just upgraded to Windows 10. All right. So be mindful of the fact that uh, if you were just to extract the download into uh, the apps directory, I like to keep everything in the same naming convention for directories that WAMP ships with. In this case, WAMP shipped with 4.1.14. So I keep the same all lowercase, no spaces, no separation characters, syntax. So mine is 4.1.15.1. That's what we're upgrading to. All right, so that's extracting. <clears throat> the one file that I am going to need now uh, to uh, tie things up with WAMP uh, is inside here. If you look, there is a uh, config file, and inside mine, there is no config file. So I need that config file. Uh, if I were to, uh, I could just copy it from my old one, copy paste it in the new directory, that'd be fine. Uh, but I do want to highlight a couple things in that file that you're. Uh, that I think you should know about. So let's copy it into here first. Open this up. All right. <clears throat> uh, 
all of this is fine that's in here that ships with WAMP. The one thing that I wanted to let you know about is since I work on Magento, uh, a lot of the uh, or the databases uh, can get pretty big. So I want to uh, turn off these, uh, this uh, uh, time limit parameter that uh, phpMyAdmin has. So this line right here, those two lines are custom for the configuration file. So just wanted to point that out. If you're not dealing with large databases, if you're just doing, for instance, local WordPress development, all you'll need to do is just copy the configuration file uh, from your uh, the version of phpMyAdmin that shipped with WAMP to your new version, uh, and you'll be fine. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do uh, is WAMP has a uh, file, uh, wampmanager.conf. Uh, that file just uh, is a configuration file for... Uh, the WAMP utilities uh, and PHP and so forth. So let's open that. Um, if we look here, we can see uh, the versions are shown. The, way, uh, the version of PHP MyAdmin that we're running is no longer 4.1.14. It is 4.1.15.2. All right. So that's done. And the very last thing we're going to need to do is update WAMP's uh, alias information. And that is, uh, WAMP has these, if I can find it, um, these aliases. I forget where, yeah, here we go. Alias directories. And it's got phpMyAdmin. Um, so this alias points to the location of phpMyAdmin. It just gives you a nice clean URL, which is uh, great. Uh, we're going to need to edit that uh, configuration file uh, so that uh, when we do launch phpMyAdmin, it launches our new version. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That file is in, if I can remember. Um, Alias, yeah, alias, because it's an alias, obviously. Seems fairly straightforward. All right, and I keep forgetting what version we're running. 4.1.15.1. All right, so right here, and one more place. 4.1.15.1. All right, so our alias, and you can see this is kind of set up like, is set up like a virtual host. Uh, configuration would be um, but obviously it's uh, unique to WAMP and how they do things in the WAMP world so that's it uh, we should have a working upgrade of PHP my admin I'm gonna go ahead and completely exit out of WAMP start it up again all right green is good uh, let's go to PHP my admin 4.4.15.1 up to date uh, and I think I might have even left our old one up here yep so we can see we have successfully upgraded PHP my admin yippee skippy